Nearly seven months had passed when Mom came out to visit me. It never made a blip in the media, but I was given a letter of commendation and a chief's coin. I showed them to her. I can't remember what she said, but her face was reserved, proud. I also showed her where I was living and the fire station I was working. I asked if she wanted to go see the scene and was surprised when she said yes. It was the day after Thanksgiving. The shift had been quiet. It was just getting dark when the tones went out. Possible head injury at the ski slope. My friend Matt showed up at the station to drive the rig. For nearly 45 miles, driving through the forest, Matt and I talked about what the call might be about. It was after skiing hours, so maybe someone slipped and fell on the ice. <laughs> or maybe fell over at the bar. We arrived to find an employee of the mountain that had suffered a near drowning and possible closed head injury. Because of the weather, the nearest landing zone was 40 miles away. Nearly halfway into the transport, it happened. We hit black ice doing 35 miles per hour. The rig began to fishtail, and when we started to roll, I remember saying, this is going to hurt. The rig ended up on its right side, with the gurney and patient dangling above me. With my legs trapped and intense head pain, I treated the patient the best I could. I ended up transporting the patient in another ambulance to transfer care to another crew. I insisted on riding up front in that ambulance, but was told no. What? I was now a patient. After I left the emergency department, my scalp flap stapled, I wrote my incident reports and was asked to take a few shifts off. No, I'm fine, I told them. I still work in that rig. There are reminders. Scratches in the glass. A dent in the O2 compartment. This. It was my first time back at the scene. I had driven by it many times, but never stopped. Still there were a couple of blankets, exam gloves, broken glass, missing tree bark. I was walking up and down the road taking in the scene when I noticed Mom. Still standing on the side of the road, looking down on where the rig had been months earlier. As I got closer to her, I noticed some tears running down her cheeks. I'm here with you looking at this. I could be here leaving flowers. <laughs>